and ready to go and then Roland lights up the red light and then about four to seven seconds later the green light for the start of the 1995 Portuguese Grand Prix. of course has been upended the race will be stopped absolutely no doubt about that it has already been stopped and now we must hope that Ukyo Katayama is all right this extremely popular little Japanese driver who is of course and that's Luca Badur's car there's been a coming together I presume between B Katayama who was 16th on the grid and Badur who was 18th of the on the grid now the debris got to be cleaned up but that is totally irrelevant what matters is how is Ukyo Katayama you can be sure that uh, the very best of medical facilities are right here that's Roland Brunscherider holding out the red flag to indicate that the race is being stopped and drivers will be given flags around the circuit but there's a major problem there the Tyrrell as you can see for yourselves is upside down Katayama with his shoulder straps, his waist straps and his thigh straps will be very securely in the car. Now let's have a look and see what happened. Look at the back of the grid. Yes, let's see if we can see these cars. They're all doing 0 to 150 in less than seven seconds, but someone has touched. I don't know whether we're going to get a clear vision. There across looks like a Pacific. It's difficult to see. There's Katayama. Look at him fly through the air. That must be doing 130 miles an hour at the time. It flips around. Great strength in the chassis of these Formula One cars. Back comes the, the Minardi of Luco Badoa, and then Roberto Moreno, I think it is, in the 40. He is the one that comes into the back of Katayama, whilst Diniz, his teammate, sorry, I beg your pardon, whilst, uh, yes, there it is, Diniz, I think. He comes down, leaving Moreno in his 40, into the back of that chassis of Katayama. We can see that Katayama is now out of the car. The Tyrrell is back on its wheels. You can see that the chassis looks like it's intact. Let's just hope that the damage there that's uh, around the front of the car has helped dissipate the energy because these cars are designed in such a way that all of the peripheral parts are supposed to come off because every bit that can come off will help absorb some energy. And uh, we saw that Tyrrell go up in the air. Now, that would have been because the tyres touched each other. And one of the great hazards with single-seaters is that when a tyre touches another car's tyre, it's almost sure to throw the car up in the air to some extent. But that clearly was launched high up. Let's have another look now. And uh, we can see the front of the field. Now, we're looking. There is Katayama. And it looked like it was a touch between Luco Badoa and Ukio Katayama. The Tyrrell bouncing down spending quite a bit of his time on that roll bar and again it looked as if there's Luco Badoa in the Minardi back on the Armco, Diniz comes by in the yellow 40, Moreno stops at the back of the Tyrrell of Katayama. Katayama clearly getting all the expert attention the facilities here are quite superb at Grand Prix these days and that uh, Professor Sid Watkins who heads the medical side of Grand Prix motor racing has had a huge amount of experience but uh, saying that these chassis are designed, the cars are designed for the peripheral parts to progressively come off, that absorbs the energy, and the central survival cell chassis, and it looked very much as if it was com completely intact there, designed to keep the driver um, in, in uh, first-class condition without any injuries. But, of course, the head is exposed, and uh, as ever, a Grand Prix sport like Grand Prix racing can never be entirely free of danger. Uh, and uh, Andrea Montemini was uh, involved in that crash. He, he managed to jink his Pacific to the side, having started from 21st on the grid and end up in the pit lane. Here it is again. Uh, you'll see Katayama's car. There it is, absolutely cartwheeling through the air. I must say, it looked rather to me on that bit of footage we saw that Katayama had moved across to the left and moved his Tyrrell into the path of Luco Badoa's Minardi. 
you know, these cars accelerate so very quickly that the speeds are up to 100 miles an hour in less than four seconds. It's about 3.8 seconds. Another look now then. Look at Katayama in the center of your picture. He moves across to the left. Don't quite know why. Luca Badoa maintains his line down the left-hand side of the circuit. The Tyrrell comes up onto his right-hand side of the wheels. Then you've got Diniz in the 40 going to the left, leaving Moreno to slow up. People at the back of the field have got time to see what goes on. And the real hazard from these situations is for the immediately following cars. We saw an incident at, uh, at that dreadful San Marino Grand Prix last year on the first start when Pedro Lamy in the, in the Lotus impelled his car against the back of the Benetton when, uh, again, he was unsighted. This is the real danger. Well, what happens now, what happens now is that because the race had lasted less than two lengths, it is as though it had not happened, uh, two laps, uh, it, it is as though it had not started at all. The grid will be reformed, competitors will be able to go out in their spare cars if they have them, and this is the situation further round the track after the start, where as you can see Coulthard is leading Hill with Schumacher third, with the Ferrari and Johnny Herbert and off goes it's one of the Jordans it looks like Rubens Barrichello to me who went off in which case he may well be back for his spare car although a clean-up job on that one he just went off it was Rubens Barrichello so the drivers who have spare cars which is most of them and Luca Badur is certainly one of them the un very unfortunate Italian who had uh, so many problems in Italy. He crashed badly in qualifying and then again in the warm-up. And that's Damon Hill out of the car, ready for the restart. His teammate, David Coulthard, exactly the same situation. Both of their cars will be perfectly all right, of course. The Williams with the previous...